Hello everyone, welcome back to the Adventure Channel. I'm John and today I'm going to be testing out a new Pepsi product. This product is not for retail sale, it was only um, a I believe Twitter and Instagram prize um, limited time product. Anyway, you know, I've done these things before. They've had hot cocoa and others. But this is the first time they've done three different flavors at the same time uh, that you're supposed to mix together. Without any further ado, let me show you what those are. This is the Pepsi S'mores collection. It comes with three. These are 7.5 ounce cans. You get graham cracker, chocolate, and of course, toasted marshmallow. I want to say that this should taste similar to the hot chocolate one. And I want to say they had a marshmallow one before, but I'm not sure. The most interesting one, I think, is actually going to be the graham cracker flavor. Uh, so I'm going to taste each one individually. Then I'm going to make a s'mores cocktail. And that's a virgin cocktail because there's only going to be Pepsi in it. When you get these three uh, Pepsis together in the box, it comes with a little slip of paper um, that has recipes on the back and basically it's just different proportions of the same things there's the classic which is just one third of each one and then there's three other ones which are basically two parts of this one part of that two parts of this one part of that two parts one one part each the other two it's basically one has more coconut, one has more marshmallow, one has more graham, and one has more chocolate. Um, I'm only going to try the one that's the same ratio, a third each, and I'm just going to measure it using a little shot glass and putting it into one cup and seeing if the end product tastes like a s'more. Um, I think that's just the most obvious thing to do. Anyway, let's go check, taste them one at a time. I'm going to start with the most delicate flavor, I believe, and work my way up to the strongest flavor, I believe. So we're going to start with the toasted marshmallow. To me, that's the lightest of these flavors. It's more just sugary, vanilla-y kind of um, flavor. I'm going to say flavor a lot here. I have had these in the fridge. They are cold. First thing I'm going to do, give it a little smell, see if it smells like a marshmallow. It does smell like if you had like a, a marshmallow jelly bean, that's kind of the smell that's coming from here. It's a good taste. Yeah, it tastes the same. It tastes like if you had like a marshmallow flavored jelly bean. There is some vanilla in there. Definitely a lot of a lot of sugar. It's 26 grams of sugar in the 7.5 ounce can. Yeah. Pretty light flavor. Vanilla sugary. Next, next one, graham cracker flavor. I think I just think the, chocolate, the chocolate's going to be the most strong flavor out of these. Go ahead, and smell it. Oh, it does have a graham smell to it, like a molasses cookie almost. Mm. I do like the smell of this. Let's go taste. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's caramely. It's like dark sugary. Maybe like a little bit of spice to it. Oh yeah. This one's good. And lastly, Pepsi chocolate flavor. Chocolate soda is not really anything new. From the early, early days of like soda jerks, uh, when they would mix the seltzer with the syrups, chocolate was one of the very first things they tried with just like chocolate and seltzer, but also chocolate with a cola flavor as well. Okay, right, here we go. Let's give it a smell. Yeah, this smells similar to how I remember their hot chocolate flavor smelling. Almost like a Tootsie Roll-ish scent. Let's give it a taste. Yep. Similarly, I was flavored. <coughs> it smells and tastes just like a Tootsie Roll chocolate taste or smells. So what's there left to do? Put it all in the same cup. One shot of marshmallow. Yep. One shot of graham cracker. Which out of all three of them, graham cracker is actually probably my favorite. And lastly, a shot ski of chocolate. All right, here we go. There is the mixture of all three, the s'mores cocktail. This would be like where the Stupid thumbnail face would be. Should I look at the can or the cup and make the dumb face? I'm not even going to make the effort to save that and use it as my thumbnail though. I'm just doing it in the video. Nothing discernibly s'moresy in smell. It just kind of tastes sweet or smells sweet. It's a good taste. You know, oddly enough, when you mix all three together, not one of them stands out amongst the others. It's sweet, that's for sure. I think I smelled a little chocolate when I brought it to my nose at home. I think the chocolate scent is the strongest of the scents, but the graham flavor is the strongest of the flavors. Because I, I still get a, little, a lot of that dark sugar flavor that I get specifically from the graham one. Hmm. Very interesting. Um, final comments. The chocolate one, it tastes very similar to their hot cocoa one. The marshmallow one, there's a little bit of extra vanilla-y sweetness to that. Um, if this wasn't labeled marshmallow, I don't know if you would say marshmallow. 
This one, definitely. There's chocolate in there, for sure. The marshmallow one, it just kind of tastes like extra vanilla-y sweetness. Now, the graham one is the best of the three. You could sell this as, like, your holiday Pepsi. I don't know if, if that one was unlabeled, would I get gram out of it? I don't know if I'd specifically say that, but I'd say like gingerbread maybe, molasses cookie, some kind of uh, dark sugared baked good kind of flavor. In that aspect, you may say gram uh, as well as all those other examples I've given you. Um, it's the best flavor of the three. Chocolate's the most definable of the three. None of them are bad, but vanilla is probably the most dis or the marshmallow is probably the most disappointing just because it tastes vanilla. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. There you go, the Let's see if I can like match up the labels so I can hold it up and it looks cool. Here we go. Pepsi S'mores Collection. Let me know in the comments if you've tried them. If you think this should be something that comes permanently. How would they sell it? Would they be like in a six pack where you get two of each? Uh, Twelve pack? You can get uh, that'd be four of each. Four times three is twelve. And so on and so forth. Uh... Them being in the small cans, I could see that just because if you want to taste them separately but also have a drink, this together is 22 and a half ounces. So it's not unreasonable to drink that. Like people drink the 20 ounce bottles by themselves all the time. It's just a little bit bigger than that. But um, if you want even smaller, that'd be okay too because you get a little taste of each one. And you can also mix them together, and you're still not drinking tons of sugar that you probably should not be. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, that's it. See you later. Bye.